Okay, today we're going to take a quick look at uh, Juan here on the right. I'm going to compare him with uh, Joe Kovacs. Let's watch him run through the throw here a couple times. All right, let's take a look. Some things that uh, maybe can help him. He's just starting out for 2024. He's going to be a junior, high school. Okay, doing the windup. Right here, uh, you can see Joe Kovacs takes his right leg and fully extends it. You've still got a bend in there. I see, see you've got a, uh, I don't know if you got a knee brace or something on there. Maybe you can't extend it all the way, but if you can, because the next thing he's going to do, watch his right leg. He's going to squat down a little bit. Okay, see the break in the knee? You see how your right leg is uh, totally straight? Um, what I recommend with my throwers is squat down a little bit as you come out of the windup, get a little momentum going as you drop down that left knee. Okay, right here, you see this angle from his left shoulder to his right knee. He's shifted over to his left. I can't tell from your angle because uh, here's the back of the circle and there's the front, so I'm not uh, directly in front. So if uh, in the future, if you have a video straight from the back of the circle, like here with Joe Kovacs, that would help out. But uh, you want to be able to shift over to your left a little bit. Okay. Looks like your right foot, or I'm sorry, your left foot here, looks like it goes flat. You kind of uh, get off the uh, ball of the foot. So try to stay on the ball of the foot as you turn the foot there. I think mean, right here it stops frame before next frame see it stop there so keep it moving okay next thing I uh, wanted to point out is you uh, let this left arm get past your knee watch Joe Kovacs watch, uh, see they kind of move together and you can see right here how it, uh, your left arm is passed and you can't see uh, Joe Kovacs left arm yet could be the angle, but uh, I'm pretty sure he's keeping that left arm with the left knee until they get uh, face the throwing direction down here at six o'clock. Then you'll see him accelerate around. Okay. All right. All right. So you see right here, Joe Kovacs uh, stops his left foot on his left knee, going pretty much down the uh, throwing sector. And you can see how your left foot and knee are going to continue rotating around. See that? So when he gets off, he's got his foot facing and his knee facing. So he's driving across the circle. And you're continuing to rotate over here toward the left. So you want to get off that uh, left really quick. See, he's already off his left right here with the left knee is low. And he's got this uh, almost horizontal shin angle with his left foot. You can see how vertical yours is. I'm going to move you up a couple steps here. You can see how you're jumping upward, uh, trying to get some height and uh, to help you across the circle. You can see it with your left arm too. See how it's going upward. See how that left arm goes up? Okay. You want to lock that left leg in with this uh, left foot right there. And you want the right leg to rotate around. Let's take a look at Joe Kovacs here. All right, so he drops the knee down, he stops it right here. And then the right is gonna whip around, okay? And then, without fully extending that leg, he lets that uh, foot come off. That way the left foot's not left behind, the knees he's trying to keep together. See, they're both facing three o'clock here. Let's see when you get in that uh, position right there, okay? You do have both the knees facing that way, but you can see your left foot is still on the ground, so it's way back here. So get that uh, left foot off the ground sooner. Get that shin horizontal. Okay. Um, it looks like when you when you start your throw, you just whip that left arm around. Okay. That's part of keeping the left arm with the left knee. OK, 
Okay, because that's going to make you very circular into the center without driving forward. Okay. Now for this uh, left arm, let's watch what Kov John, uh, Joe Kovacs does here. Let me go back. Okay, so he's got the arm horizontal, left arm. Now it starts to drop down. The, it, the left arm, once it gets past 6 o'clock, he starts to come downward with it, which raises up his right elbow in the shot. Okay. Then... As the right leg comes around, to counteract that, he's going to bring the left arm across his body. Okay, see all those two work together? Right foot and knee coming around into the center as the left arm counteracts toward it. Okay, action, reaction. Okay. His arm will come upward as he see he's trying to bring it across the chest. He's bringing it because his chest is angled. The left arm is going to go upward at this point, rather than where you're doing it early, trying to rise up into the circle. So you want to bring that left arm down and then raise it up as the knee comes around. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at you both with the uh, hips toward the back of the circle. Okay. Not too bad. You've got your separation here. You're looking down the left shoulder. Your left foot's all the way back here at six o'clock. That looks pretty good. All right, let's sink these put uh, the throw up right here between the two of you, so we move together. Okay, he's got his left toes down, so I'm going to move you one more frame forward right there. Okay, so you both got your uh, left toes down. You can see how his uh, his elbows out here toward the. Nine o'clock, or I'm sorry, th th uh, three o'clock here. You see how you're, from what I can tell, looks like your left arm's maybe at two o'clock. So he's got, uh, he's got his left elbow in the shot and uh, wrapped around back behind him more. So he's got more separation there. Um, you want that shot. It's hard to tell from this angle, but you want that shot behind that uh, right foot. See if he dropped that shot straight down right here. Be behind, be behind his right uh, heel here actually almost right between both of his feet okay so he's got that shot it's going to be traveling a lot farther distance all right let's keep going forward okay I'll move you up one more frame right about here between these two frames right here your knee should be continuing to go forward and then it's going to go around this left side block this right heel, you need to kick it out. Keep uh, as you rotate the left knee around. Okay, you see it's off the ground here. Joe Kovacs is off the ground too, but he's driving it more uh, straight. You see his his heel is already right in the direction in the knee and the shin. Everything's going forward. Okay, you can see your your heel still hasn't kicked out, so you're not. Uh, driving that left side or right side around the uh, left side block here. You, you see Joe Kovacs here. The, the shot's still in his hand. You see the right hip is well ahead of the left hip now. He does have both feet off the ground. Uh, but you see how this right heel is kicked outward okay, to the right, which brings the right knee inward so he can rotate and the hip around. This whole right side is going to rotate around this left side. Okay. Uh, it looks like uh, the angle of your release, the shot here, it's hard to tell from where the view, but it looks like it might be a little low here. You can see how high uh, Joe Kovacs is, is uh, going. And his, the camera is looking almost, uh, I think, downward a little bit. And yours is looking upward, so uh, if you get a shot from over here at uh, 9 o'clock toward the circle, we can see you from the side and see where you're... Uh, where your posture is as you're releasing. Make sure you're getting a good uh, angle on that release. All right, that's all I had. If, uh, please like and subscribe if you uh, learned anything or found this uh, educational. Thanks very much.